as police captain, I can tell you what this is like for him. It's a constant pestilent child putting their hands in someone's bag when he sleeps, thinking they're having a gay old time. Every time that man turns around, he looks for something that's missing, and then it's back to him. This was going on for him across the state line. This harassment has now become federal. This sexual assault on his face is a federal crime. The hate religious crime that these people are conducting is also a federal crime and requires federal time. You can lie to yourself about what you think is right in this world and wrong in this world, but let me be so clear to you about federal law. Federal law includes human rights, and an individual has the right to wear their body hair any fucking way they want to. And if federal law does not allow you as an officer of the law to strip someone down, you stupid lesbian bitch, to see their body, you have humiliated my company. You have destroyed our jail. You have destroyed federal law because you thought that you had rights to information that nobody had rights to put in a record. You fucked ourselves with medical health rights. You are not a medical practitioner. You had no right to tie his beard in a knot. You stole his property bags. And that one there called Sam, allegedly, if that's really her name, stole his glasses, wore them in front of him to mock him. The sheriff of Indianapolis are the stupidest animals of the world. He had to suffer through the sexual assault of that motherfucking man. That man over at Wendy's is the shitbag of the land, but you let him continue to work for your company. You let him continue to mentor those children, and every time we go to that fucking company, he's got some matronly Indian Mexican bitch who is so fucking rude about the homeless, it's not even funny. Now, are you going to do your fucking jobs and roll the shitbags that are not him, or are you going to keep pestering the shit out of some guy because he's got a little prick? You're not his family doctor. You are not his medical practitioner. You are not his mental health representative. And if you send another one of those fucking bitches at him, most likely he's going to pull him out of the fucking car and pound him. If she played a fucking signal on him so he couldn't hear or see what was happening, you screwed yourself underneath federal law, international human rights laws, and you could be facing a tribunal counsel for treason.